Two particles P and Q are moving in opposite directions along the same straight line on a smooth horizontal surface when they collide directly. The mass of P is 3m and the mass of Q is 4m. Immediately before the collision, the speed of P is 2u and the speed of Q is u. The coefficient of restitution between P and Q is e. In part A, we want to show that the speed of Q immediately after the collision is u over 7, 9e plus 2. So let's do the first part of the question there first. So if we look at the situation before the collision, we have P and Q. So I don't know why I drew that like that. So we've got P, which is 3m, and we've got Q, which is 4m. This one has a speed of 2u, and this one a speed of u, like so. And then we have the situation after the collision. So there's P and Q, so P, 3m. And I'm going to call this velocity here V1, and then Q, which is 4m, and let's call this one V2. Okay, so we have the conservation of linear momentum. So, taking the right as positive, we have 6mu, which is the momentum of P before, so that's from this part of the diagram just here. Take away 4mu, and that's going to be equal to 4mv2, take away 3mv1. So we can simplify that to 2mu is 4mv2, take away 3mv1. And we can cancel the m's out of there, giving ourselves 2u is 4v2, take away 3v1. And let's call that equation one. Then we have the coefficient of restitution. E is equal to the velocity of separation, which will be V2 plus V1, because they're going in opposite directions, so therefore we add those velocities. And the speed of approach, or the velocity of approach, since they were going towards each other, add up to U and U, and we get 3u. And that gives me 3eu is equal to v2 plus v1. And let's call that one equation 2. So if we do 3 times equation 2, we get 9eu is equal to 3v1 plus 3v2. Let's call that one equation 3. And if I now add equation 1 and equation 3, I get 9eu plus 2u. The v1s will cancel out, and I get 7v2. And that gives me that v2 is equal to u over 7, 9e plus 2 as required. Okay, so let's go back to the question. After the collision with P, particle Q di collides directly with a fixed vertical wall and rebounds. The wall is perpendicular to the direction of motion of Q. The coefficient of restitution between Q and the wall is a half. Find the complete range of possible values of E for which there is a second collision between P and Q. Okay, so let's think about Q. So it's going to go here with speed V2, which we just found. 
it's going to hit this wall where E is a half, and then it will round, rebound back with V2 dashed. But because we know that E is a half here, and this is just a collision with a wall, that means that V2 dashed is going to be a half of this value. We just multiply E by V2. And so that is U over 14, 9E plus 2. Now, we have a situation here where object P is just merrily going along here at speed V1, and then Q has just rebounded with speed V2 dashed, which we've just found. And for a second collision, we need to have that V2 dashed is more than V1. So what we really need to know is V1. Now, we can get that because we have these equations up here. And the useful one for us in this situation would be this one. If we just rearrange that, we have that V1 is 3EU, take away V2, which was U over 7, 9E plus 2. So V1 is equal to 21EU over 7, take away 9EU over 7, take away 2U over 7, and so V1 will be 12EU over 7, take away 2U on 7. So a second collision, if U over 14, 9E plus 2, is greater than 12EU over 7, take away 2U over 7. One thing we can do here is get rid of all the u's, like so, and then we have 1 over 14, 9e plus 2, would be greater than 4 over 14, 6e take away 1, so that's just multiplying top and bottom of that by 2 and then just factorizing. And of course, we don't need the 14s at that point. And so we have 9e plus 2 is more than 24e take away 4. So that gives us 6 is more than 15e. And we can rearrange that into E being less than 6 over 15, which simplifies to 2 fifths. But remember that E has to be a positive constant, and therefore E is between 0 and 2 fifths.